Welcome back, Fun Fam. And if you're brand new to the channel, welcome in to Follow the Bradley's Fun. My name is Ron E. Bradley. And I hope that wherever you are, you're having a phenomenal day. Now, speaking of the day, this is a special one because I'm going to go through and do just the topiaries, featuring just the topiaries of the Epcot 2024 International Flower and Garden Festival. We've got a topiary right behind us. That is uh, Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. So come along with us and follow the Bradley's Fun! <laughs> The Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. Huh. Odd that that doesn't have the year on it. But they do have Asha from Wish over here. And that just came out, so I guess you should know what the year is. But that is the very first topiary that you encounter when you walk into the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. Asha and I don't know what her companion's name is from Disney Wish, but you can leave that in the comments below. You can let me know. These floral monolith topiaries are kind of all over. They've used them in different places throughout the years. Uh, they're not a character topiary, but they are iconic of Epcot, the floral uh, floral monolith topias. That's what I call them. I don't know. What would you call them? You can say in the comments what you want to call them. As you're seeing all these beautiful topiaries among us today, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And hit that notification bell to be notified of all of our uploads here at Follow the Bradley's Fun. Also, give us a comment. Where are you from? What do you, what do you like about Disney? What would you like to see on the channel? Comment below. Here's another topi area for flower and garden, the Donald Duck topi area, where uh, he's got a bee on his forehead. What are you doing? Like flying? What are you What are you doing there, Donald? I'm trying to get this bee off my head. Buzz off. Over here we've got Huey, Dewey, and Louie topiaries. Very cool. And bubbles. Why are there always bubbles? There's always bubbles coming from somewhere. Chewy! Dewey! Louie! I don't know which is which. Hey, if you know which is which, you can say in the comments below. That'd be great. In addition to topiaries, of course, they're going to have uh, other plant displays. So, just for... It's nice because it's educational, but it's also entertaining uh, to see these types of things. So this talks about like the Venus flytrap over here and the Ruby Red Club Moss. These are plants that have been around, I think, for maybe millions of years. What does it say over here? Prehistoric plants. Yes. Capture them. Monorails that goes by. But yes, we have prehistoric plants millions of years ago. Dinosaurs roamed the vast coniferous forest filled with ancient trees, colossal cycads, ferns, and mosses. Over millennium geological transformation, these prehistoric plants became the coal and oil we use as fuel today. And we're coming across flower and garden topiary, Mr. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger in front of Mission Space. In the Space 220 restaurant. Hello, Buzz. I'm Buzz Lightyear. I don't really do a good Buzz Lightyear. Right over here is the Groot Topiary. And the Groot Topiary is playing music that's probably going to get copywritten if I don't keep talking over it. <laughs> oh my God. Because when you get a chance to dance like Star-Lord, you dance like Star-Lord with Groot. Flower and Garden is the most beautiful time of year here at Epcot. Our first look at the iconic Figment Topiary. Are those supposed to be hidden Mickey flowers? I'm not sure. There is the center of Epcot right now, or the Epcot Center. Epcot is giving birth to Figment, if you will. So flowery. Flowery. 
colors that surround figment keep ending up different places. This is a very oddly placed one. I don't know. I like that right, right in the middle of spaceship Earth. And the famous figment topiary. This is about as close as I've ever been able to get to it. There's always people around this one. The floral topiaries and floral gardens around uh, the retaining ponds here are just like amazing each year. It's, there's a part of me that wishes they would keep this all year long because this is the most beautiful that this area will look at any time of the year. Period. Oh, we're coming up on the backside of some more topiaries. Who could it be? Topiaries ready for the Flower and Garden Festival. It's Mickey and Minnie and Pluto and Chip and Dale are down there too. Look at that. They look all happy and everything. There's Pluto. He's got his bone. Pluto's got his bone. People are already taking advantage of the fact that people aren't here yet for the festival, but that these are in fact up. The cool looking vantage point over here. Mickey and Minnie and Pluto. Here's my great Pluto impersonation. Is that me? <laughs> oh, he's got a bone there too. Chip and Dale. The other side of Pluto. Mickey's saying hi again. The ninth wonder of the world, the backside of Goofy. You got anything to say for us, Goofy? Well, gosh, I love these flowers. They're just so pretty and so bright and so pink and so yellow. And oh, there's dandelions. I'd like to blow them in the wind. Oh, gosh. Here is the family Madrigal. It is the family Madrigal. They're on their way. Look, it's Mirabelle and all of the rest of her. Family Madrigal from Encanto. Nicole, look, it's Mirabel. Just for you, she's hanging out. She says, Hola, Nicole, ¿cómo estás? Mi amiga. I'm curious, though, because they had these out front last year for Flower and Garden, so I wonder where the Encanto, I mean, not, I mean, obviously the Encanto crew is here, but I'm wondering what's going to be out front this year, because that'll be different than last year. It's one of the giant butterfly topiaries that they have. Kind of speckled around the park. More of the butterflies over here at the Blossoms of Fragrance. Fragrance, sorry, Fragrance. Presented by Scentsy. Now, we've got the PB&J Garden presented by Smuckers Uncrustables, which sadly right now I usually eat one of those a day. I probably shouldn't, but I do. It is what it is. Peanut butter and jelly garden. I want my sandwich. More big giant butterfly topiaries right in front of the imagination pavilion. And on that note, we have seen the topiaries from World Discovery and World Celebration. Now we're going to head over into World Nature. And as we head into World Nature, the first topiaries we come across represent the Lion King, it's Timon and Pumbaa. I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. Who? They'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. Oh. Over on this side, we got the Lion King. Remember who you are. Mufasa, Nala, Simba. Well, hey, howdy, hey there, partners. There's a snake in my boots. Toy Story. Little Bo Peep, her sheep. And, of course, the ultimate cowboy himself, Woody. A 
as you're getting close to a uh, journey into the imagination over here on the right is going to be the butterfly landing so you can go through and check out all the different butterflies that are in there the entrance of course this butterfly topiary the big one butterfly landing lots and lots of butterflies don't touch them though Butterfly House is something you definitely want to experience on your own, so I'm not going to include a lot of it in this video, but there are lots of butterflies flying around right now. Got lucky with that one as it stayed in the same place long enough that I could video it. Now let's get out of here. Exiting the butterfly habitat. As of note, it looks like they still have the figment popcorn button available over here at the popcorn stands by Journey Into the Imagination. So if you're over here at the popcorn stands and you still want to get the figment imagination popcorn bucket from the Festival of the Arts Festival, it's still available here at uh, in front of Journey Into the Imagination. And the brilliant yellow of this tree right here. As we head from World Nature to see the topiaries of World Showcase. Orange Blossom. This is ironic because I live off the Orange Blossom Trail. And here where they used to have the Three Caballeros before, they have Coco and his dog. If you know Coco's dog's name, you can throw that down in the comments because I don't remember while I'm doing this. I'll probably look it up later, but there they are. So starting with Coco, we'll enter the World Showcase through Mexico to check out the rest of the World Showcase topiaries. Here's a fun fact too. Over here in Norway, they actually do use real grass on the roofs over here. Thatch roofs, I believe they call them. Thatch roofs, yes. Somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. They also have a troll topiary over here. Over here they have Anna and Elsa topiaries. Let it go, let it go. I don't like to sing that song. All right, just outside of Germany we have Snow White topiary with Dopey over here. And the rest of the seven doors, the rest of the, so there's six of them over here. Doc, Grumpy, Bashful, uh, Sneezy, Sleepy, Happy. Hungry, no wait, I don't think that's one of them, that might just be me. Oh look at this, this is cute, on his nose. Very cool. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. You can't have Snow White without the Seven Dwarves. It just doesn't make sense. All right, we're going back into Italy now. They have the tower from St. Mark's Square back here, but what I wanted to show you is the topi area that's back here. Lady and the Tramp. This looks so cool. Lady and the Tramp topi area back here. There we go. The American Adventure. What's going on here at the American Adventure? Beautiful fountain, beautiful building. I'm, you can let me know in the comments, what building does this building represent in the United States? Is it in Washington, D.C.? Is it in Pennsylvania? If you know, let me know in the comments. Over here we also have the Tiana Topiary. Tiana from Princess and the Frog. Speaking of Tiana, big shout out to a uh, good buddy of the channel, Tiana Schaefer. I'm sure she's watching. She can give us, hey Tiana, if you're watching, give us that like. 
Thumbs up. Shout this out. Put it on your social medias. Tell everybody to watch Follow the Bradley's Fun. Kiana Shaver, big big Disney fan. She loves uh, Kiara, the the lioness from Lion King. That is, uh, I believe, Simba Nala's daughter, perhaps. Is that who that is? Yeah. And quickly, while there's nobody in front of it. Very cool topiary dragon over here. Hi-ho, it's Kermit the Frog reporting live from the Epcot 2024 Flower and Garden Festival. I am here with the great Miss Piggy. Oh, Kermit, I love you. I love being here at the festival with you. Ah, um, that's great, Piggy. I'm going to go ride my bike now. Bye-bye. Welcome. Bienvenue à France. Here we have Beauty and the Beast are out. At those topiaries over there. And over here we have Lumiere and Codsworth. <laughs> All of these flowers that you see here are from the neoclassical Baroque period. Like I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> Look, I like the fact that he's got like a little pendulum swinging back and forth. Monsieur, Mademoiselle, we invite you to sit back and relax as the dining room proudly presents your flowers. <laughs> Looks like Tinkerbell is here for a flower and garden. I don't think she's here all the time. I think this is a flower and garden thing, so she's up. And even more topi areas over here in the UK. You've got Winnie the Pooh and uh, you've got rabbits. Oh, hello everybody. It's Pooh Bear here. Welcoming you all to the Flower and Garden Festival with my friend Rabbit over here. And there's Eeyore and Tigger. Hope you have a great time. Oh, and Tigger. Piglet and Eeyore. Hello Pooh. Very cool. More Flower and Garden. All put up already. Oh, I see some more. We've got Peter Pan topiaries over here. Here's the, the famous croc, crocodile. And over here, you've got Peter fighting Captain Hook. Pretty flowers underneath, too. I know, I don't, I need to work on a Captain Hook voice. I don't have a Captain Hook voice uh, impersonation or a Peter. I need to work on those. Gotta do it, gotta do it. A few more topiaries over here for Flower and Garden. You've got Bambi and Thumper. And somebody remind me in the comments, what is the name of, what is, what is the name of the, what is this thing called? Skunk. What is the name of the skunk? It's Bambi, Thumper, and the skunk. But somebody tell me in the comments, what is the name of the skunk? And that brings us to the end of our topiary tour. And as a reminder, we do have channel memberships available now. So if you want to shout out like Tiana or Nicole, just click that join button below. Channel memberships starting as low as $2.99 a month. Thanks for coming in today to check out all the different topiaries at the Flower and Garden Festival, Epcot Flower and Garden Festival 2024. Remember to like, subscribe, share all the good what? stuff, and we'll see you real soon. Ciao, everybody. Bye.